Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Citrix certification video training and this is the sixth video of in this series. So in this video I am going to show you how to install a Zen Center to manage a Zen servers. So basically you can say Zen Center is a GUI tool where we can connect to our Zen server and we can we can do all the stuff which which is related to Zen server like like creating the machines, creating the virtual machines, updating the Zen server, create managing the storage managing the local drive man uh, and and uh, there was all the option if you go here you can see we have added uh, uh, we have some t uh, some uh, like uh, things related to servers we can do related to VMs storage template tools and so this is the uh, basically a, a GUI tool uh, by using uh, this Citrix Center Z Z Citrix Zen Center we can manage our uh, Zen server uh, by using GUI so let's have what we have in my demo in this demo so we we are using four virtual machine as as uh, we have uh, used in last few videos so the first machine is win2k12 dc01 which is my active directory domain server here you can see I have installed active directory and DNS role on this server and DHCP is also installed so if you go to local server you can verify my domain name vector info soul my server name and IP address details here so and my next server is Citrix DC01 which is my Citrix delivery controller basically and I have installed Citrix delivery controller in this machine you can see Citrix Studio is there if you go and start you can see the storefront Citrix Studio and director everything is installed on this machine so all the core component is installed on this machine only so we have uh, as we have done in last video and we have two Zen server which is Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 which we have just installed in our last video so here you can see the Zen server 1 and here we have Zen server 2 if it goes some here you can see the detail which is like Zen server 0 1 and if you go here you can see the Zen server 0 2 so this is the detail so now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to install the Zen Center on my uh, director uh, basically Citrix DC which is delivery controller so you can see we have Citrix Studio open so I'm going to close this and we have two servers also added if you go to hosting you can see Zen Server 1 and 2 is added to my Citrix Studio so I'm going to close this Citrix Studio and I'm going to install that Zen Server uh, Zen Center. So Zen Server you can Zen Center can be downloaded from Citrix directly. If you if you can go just go to Citrix.com and where you found the Citrix Zen Server Zen Center setup here. So I have downloaded in my downloaded folder. So I'm just going to double click and it will launch the installations file so uh, basically I am installing the Zen Center on my um, on my Windows Server 2012 machine so it's require Microsoft .NET 2015 so it it's going to download the 93 MB setup so I'm going to I accept then and just click next so it will go and download these files from internet so make sure you are connected with the internet and if you if you don't have internet connection on your uh, server then go ahead and download the first install the Microsoft .NET 2015 then you can run the setup and it will install the Citrix Center so Zen Center so it's you can see the downloading is completed and now installing the .NET Framework 4.6 that will take some time so just I'm waiting to get the installation done for my uh, Microsoft .NET 2015 then we will then start the installation for Zen Center so it will not take too much time it will take around one or two minutes to get the installation done for .NET Framework 4.6 so now you can see the installation is completed and after the installation of .NET Framework 4.6 might be computer and require a reboot so if I click here close then you can see the Citrix Zen server is rebooting my machine to get the installation done for enabling the feature for .NET 4.6 so after the reboot the setup will automatically start installing the Zen Center so just wait for the machine to get rebooted
so it's enabling the feature basically so now machine is rebooted press control alter del to reboot the machine and put the credential and hit enter now you can see it's automatically starting the installation for Zen Center installer so yes I want to run the setup now you can see welcome to Citrix Zen Center set of wizard click next and on the further user for which you want to install so go ahead and select the all user so it will going to install for all the users and click next and just click install so it's a very simple installation basically so you can see complete uh, Citrix uh, Zen server setup is completed click close button and now if you go here on a start button you are able to see here Zen Center Citrix Zen Center so go ahead and launch this so you will get the nice window here for Citrix Zen Center so here you can see so here you can see it's asking would you like to check the uh, Zen Center to periodic ch uh, uh, check up internet to check the update for Zen server so if you want to check the Zen server uh, for uh, check the updates for Zen server then you can go ahead and click yes so I want to check my Zen center for the Zen server critical update or updates which is coming from Citrix for the Zen servers so good and now you can see we have a nice window here on which is we can work so I am going to add my first server here so click add new server and we have to type the you can see we can type the host name or IP address of the server so in my case I'm going to host type the host name so before this you can check mm, your D your machine name is getting resolved or on like your domain or not so yes I am my Zen server 01 is getting resolved I have created one DNS record a host record for this my Zen server one so I can type your name Zen servers 01 and the credential for it and click add button so you can see it synchronizing the data save and restore connection so leave the default click ok now you can see my Zen server is added here Zen server 1 so it's giving us some information like health checkup overview which is not enabled for now so I will uh, enable this we will enable this later on so go ahead and click close button and same way I'm going to add my second host also here so on a Zen server add server and type the name like Zen server 02 and put the credential so now you can see it's also giving warning so close this so now you can see we have opened the Zen server 1 and Zen server 2 so if you want to make any changes on your Zen server settings you can go ahead and uh, change the settings so for example I'm going to give you the simple example here like you can see the my uh, Zen server alphabet which is uh, something not looks good so I am going to change this so just go and click on properties so from here you can type the Zen server 02 sorry oops I have to type Zen server 02 and click OK this time and now you can see that changes is reflected towards Zen server and also you can verify from here if you go will take some time to reflect here so uh, so I just want to give you this example and if you want any informations about the Zen servers you can go here you can see that there's different difference like a uh, general information we have we have management interface which is connected management interface is basically the IP address and host name of the Zen server server 
and here we we can see the memory information like how much memory is free and we have version details we have license detail we have CPU and as well as we can see the updates if uh, if any update is uh, like release for the Zen our Zen server version so this is all the things and also you can see here nice UI which is provided by the Zen Center the utilization of like Zen server control domain on host so these information and we have a storage information like uh, uh, our our installation uh, DVD drive local local media watch uh, where the Zen server is installed and we have a networking tab here you can see the network and details here the IP address and all the things is are given there and if you want to change you can go ahead and change the settings as well as so and we have NICs here how many NICs are connected and the speed and vendor and all the information same we have a GPU I don't have any GPU connected with this machine so we are not getting any GPU information here and we have console here if you want to connect to our, uh, your like Zen server you can go ahead and connect from here also like you just need to put the IP address uh, the credential and you can go ahead and log into your Zen server console and we have performance monitoring here like CPU, RAM and network for everything so it's nice to have and we have also users much information like so and search we can search anything on our like machines and we have also the some information like uptime IP address network bandwidth and memory utilization CPU utilization the server name same you can find for s machine too so if you want you can put here from if you right click you can see the enter in maintenance mode reboot shutdown restart task tool so we have everything is there so also we can s uh, enable the ena email option so these things and also you can see here if you go to notification you can find we have alerts and updates and events so you will get the all the updates available for here so we have Zen server 1, 2, one, for 1 and 2 we have few updates which is listed here so you can go ahead and update the update your Zen server from here also so uh, we, we are going to do this in next video so this is all about this in this video so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye